Hey there guys, Neil here with an initial review for uh, Android 9 Pi for my OnePlus 3T. So it is an unofficial build as um, the official ROM for the OnePlus 3T hasn't come out yet from uh, OnePlus but and an official build for Lineage OS 16 is not out yet but I was able to install an unofficial build to get it running. So I figured I'd go over some of the initial changes. So the first thing you'll notice when you um, set it up um, at least on your OnePlus, but other devices that are running it, when you use a, as close of a stock um, version of Android as possible, is the notification drawer. So you'll see items like um, updated buttons, so flashlight toggles, um, Bluetooth toggles, and things like that. Swiping down gives you more toggle or more of the toggles. You can slide between them. You do get the volume um, toggle so you can adjust the volume of things from here. You can also go jump right into the sound settings so you can adjust how loud or quiet um, sounds are, adjust your vibration settings. Um, the quick tile uh, rearranging ability is still there so you do get an overflow so if you want to do invert colors, set your live display, ambient display and things like that it works out nicely. Um, for me, one of my f um, favorite toggles is um, the nightlight feature. So let's say you are reading at night, then you can turn on the night light function so it, um, there's less strain on your eyes and it's easier for you to go to sleep. And then by touching the toggle again, you can quickly turn it off as well. Um, the other uh, thing you will notice when you um, install the ROM is if you use your recents menu a lot, then when you jump into recents, you'll be able to um uh, easily go left and right so you get a full screen preview and they jump uh, they jump you right to wherever you were at in that preview so rather than um, launching the app from the, st the start it'll take you to where you were at before um, as far as the settings menu go you do get a nice little uh, ui refresh so if you've noticed the rounder uh, search bar in the google app um, and some of the different colors then you'll see that um, some of those colors, like in the network and internet button, um, you do get a more cleaner uh, UI, so it's easier to jump into things that are used more often. You get um, a nice little color scheme. Um, some of the Lineage OS features, like the co dark color scheme and um, various accent colors, have not been implemented yet. So as those come, they'll be updated in various updates. But the things to note here, for example, in Wi-Fi and network, is you can now set up a private DNS. So if there is a DNS provider that um, allows you to set it up, you can now use it as a global um, DNS. So if you use for so the one that I did in my initial search or saw in my initial search was Cloudflare uh, supports uh, setting up a private DNS. So whether you're on Wi-Fi or mobile data that. Um, you'll be able to use their security system. I didn't see one yet for Google DNS or Open DNS, but um, maybe there's a special way of doing it or I just haven't seen it yet. So when I see that, I'll probably give that a shot. Um, going into, for example, apps and notifications, one of the big things for Android 9 um, is the health and wellness. So the one thing you'll see or be able to go into is the dashboard, which allows you to see how much time you spend in all your different apps. So, for example, um, Nova Launcher is not going to have a timer because it's a system app. It's a launcher, so you're on one hand, you're always using it. On the other hand, because you're regularly using it, it doesn't really count as something to use. Um, but for example, in um, uh, Pocket Cast, if you want to set up a custom timer, you can say, okay, I want to only use it for, uh, let's say, six hours, and you get a notice to say to limit your usage. Or even in, for example, Instagram or Feedly or other apps that you have regular usage, you can set that up. But when you have system apps, um, you'll get a, you can select the information to see why you can't set it up. And because it's a system app, you're not going to be able to do that for settings or in the Google app or things like that. So um, there's that. And then you can um, also adjust it based on screen time, the number of uh, notifications you receive, um, times open and things like that. So you get um, a general idea of how, what apps you use when you turn on your device, how often you use it and things like that. Um, the display has kind of the similar um, functionality as it, you've always seen, so there's not really too much new here unless you're on Lineage, lineage OS and you do get some of their recent 
We added features like the ambient display and the live color display that automatically tunes colors based on how bright um, it is outside. Um, other, the digital well-being section though is um, one of the other or has other features as well so you can see um, how much you use various apps so I've so um, in recent usage for today I've used my device for an hour and a half and you can see Pocket Cast, Chrome, Instagram and various other ones um, and this is based on and touching the graph will allow you to go into more details on the apps um, you can also see how many times you've unlocked your device. So today I've unlocked, a re in the past hour and a half, I've unlocked it 23 times and I've received 143 notifications. So you get an idea of how much you use your device and if you want to limit how much you can use your device, you can do that as well. So that's really the um, a few of the features that you will see in um, Android 9. As I mentioned, I am using a Nova launcher, so if you are wondering what launchers work with um, Android 9, I haven't really used any other ones, but um, I am on Nova Launcher Prime and on um, Beta 4 for version 6. Um, the only real major change that I've made there is to set my icons to the rounded square i believe it's called um or the squircle so um it has a more unifying look um and then i have my device set to swipe up for opening the app drawer and then i have the um i have the back button and um recents button on my device so i actually don't need to have the on-screen um, gestures or anything like that set up but i'm sure there's a way to set it up um, but overall, the um, initial look at in the initial use of the ROM, it is actually working pretty smoothly. Not all the features are there, but and there are a few hiccups um, along the way. But because it is a beta build, that is to be expected. Um, so as far as my favorite features, I do like the um, updated notification drawer. It does look a lot nicer, so um, it is easy to swipe stuff away. Um, I like the color scheme so it is a lot nicer and it's more rounded so it fits a lot better. Um, as far as my second favorite feature, I want to I would go with the Bluetooth uh, functionality because um, Bluetooth and Android now remember or now remembers the individual device uh, volume level. So if you're moving to, from your car to a headset that might adjust the volume or use it differently, um, Android will remember that. So um, you don't have to worry about setting the volume or on one being too high and another being too low. It will automatically set it based on the last uh, volume set for that device. So that way you don't have to remember it and the volume is at where you want it to be. Um, so that's all there really is for that. Um, I haven't really used too much other stuff. I do like the digital well-being in the UI. So um, you will notice that, uh, or for me, the one other thing I did notice was in the Google app that um, it does have a little bit uh, more of a rounded uh, UI. So it does look a lot cleaner as well. So um there is that so it has a lot basically your, your general ui updates for this um, version of android so that's all there really is for that so if you have any questions comments or anything like that you can find me on twitter at patel n01 this review and all other reviews can be found on um youtube at youtube.com slash patel n01 and of course uh, if you want to help support the show and help it grow and get all that good stuff be sure to visit the patreon at patreon.com slash patel n01 but that's all there is for this particular review thanks for tuning in and until next time